Hey guys, today I'll be talking to you about if DIY CO2 system actually works. Now the DIY CO2 system for the aquarium tanks is a must uh, for me, at least uh, for planted tanks CO2 is a must. So let's talk about the pressurized CO2 system first and then we'll come to the DIY CO2 system. So the pressurized CO2 system is a very good CO2 system and plants need carbon in some form or the other. Now recently I wanted to use you know sea care products but I realized that I have a ADA soil and I could not use sea care products for that reason. So then I thought okay fine let's uh, what should I do so that I could you know give uh, CO2 to the plants. And uh, the moment I realized that there is something called the DIY CO2 system I really wanted to do that. But uh, before I go to the DIY CO2 system Pressure CO2 system is the best system possible there, but again, it's really expensive. The pressure CO2 system is around 6,500 rupees, uh, which comes up to roughly 100 dollars, and uh, which is really expensive, right? And it also requires refills. At the same point of time, uh, the, for initial cost is high, but then after that, it's pretty low. Uh, but many people are not ready to invest. Uh, uh, for the pressurized CO2 system, thinking that it might not work, it might work. Some people do not want to take a risk factor. So then uh, comes the DIY CO2 system. And the DIY CO2 system is fantastic. If you do the mixture right, if you get the constituents right, you can run the mixture easily for two weeks. And uh, there's, there's obviously a certain amount you require for a tank. I use one bottle, you can go up to maybe two, two, three bottles, if that's not an issue. But uh, it's a continuous flow. Uh, let me talk about the advantages first. Well, I had, I have a planted tank and uh, before the plants were growing. So I have a Monte Carlo which you could go and see in my channel itself. The growth that I've seen after introducing CO2 is absolutely fantastic. And uh, this is all the results of a DIY CO2 system. It's, it's not a pressurized CO2 system, it's a DIY CO2 system which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, coming to the part where uh, how tough is it to make the mixture or how tough is it to keep changing it regularly, well it just takes about 5 minutes. Trust me I will be making a video of how to make a DIY CO2 system. It just takes about 5 minutes to change the mixture. It's not at all hard. In addition to that, uh, when we do talk about the DIY CO2 system, generally we do confuse it with that there's a lot of work, uh, then it might not work, there's not a continuous flow. Absolutely not. Well, uh, I see a continuous flow of CO2 no matter what. Well, initially you have to shake it for it to start because first time when I made a mixture, it failed. But the video I will, I will be making after this, uh, the perfect mixture for DIY CO2, that will 100% work for you. Um, after that, uh, let's talk about the disadvantage of DIY CO2 system. Well, yes, DIY CO2 system works and it gives absolute growth to plants. But, you know, the disadvantage is that some mixtures do last two weeks, some mixtures do last one week, some mixtures do last only for three days. You got to get the mixture right. If you do not get the mixture right, well, you're up for trouble because you do have to change the mixture uh, maybe you know according to the mix you have to change the mixture and definitely if you forget uh, you are in for an algae outburst because CO2 is required for uh, algae control and if you do not have CO2 for a pretty long time because you do not monitor well okay my system of DIY is dead there is going to be an algae outburst that's for sure well not only that uh, the disadvantage is also that you know you do have to change the bottles at regular interval. You can't just keep using the same bottle. Maybe you have to change it in every six months. But end point, uh, I had no CO2 uh, in the beginning of my tank, and my tank wasn't even growing. You know, the plants weren't even growing to a point where I could say that I could have a lawn because I am targeting for a lawn and stem plants. Uh, but it was it wasn't growing. You know, there was a lot of algae. It wasn't growing. But after introducing the DIY CO2 system. It's absolutely fantastic. It, it, the plants grow, uh, the algae control is down and I do have it with fishes. I do have 12 neon tetras in my tank and uh, I do have a drop checker. Uh, one bottle of my DIY system does not cause any harm 
to my questions at least. Uh, that's my case. But you could definitely go ahead and try it and I would advise you to get a drop checker to at least check what the amount of DIY CO2 is producing because major tanks or big tanks might not be giving enough CO2 for it to grow. And that's why sometimes you know people complain that DIY system, CO2 system is not working. But ideally speaking DIY CO2 system does work and it's really fantastic. Uh, coming to the part where you might be thinking that okay in the night I switch off lights, plants do not consume CO2. Right, so there's a excess CO2 in the tank. Uh, what should I do? Because my fish is my tank. Well, in the morning, if you see the fish, fish is coming to the surface of the water, and you know, trying to get uh, oxygen. That means there's a lot of CO2. But in my case, it doesn't happen usually. Uh, I would advise you to keep your lights on till like 12 to 15 hours. So that's what I do, and uh, I give seven hours. I keep the lights maybe seven to ten hours off in a day. Uh, that would be ideal and you could see a fantastic growth so thank you for watching my video guys hope you liked it please do subscribe and please do tell me if you have any uh, issues i would be uh, really happy to answer them thank you for watching